Welcome to Aorin the channel, and welcome back to Sheer Metal Cores. The next set of tools we are going to look at is actually 4 tools lumped into one, and they are all based around corner details. They are all reasonably simple tools, so we look at them one by one. And the first one is called Closed Corner. As the name suggests, this just closes a corner of an edge flange for example, and we will show how to use this now. Open that base flange part that we were working on, and just delete any vents or anything, just so we've got a single base flange. And then let's just add two edge flanges on adjacent edges so we've got a corner there. I'm going to go with 90 degrees and 50 millimeters. But as long as they are next to each other, it doesn't really matter which parameters we use. So if we look in the corner here, we've actually got a bit of a cap and maybe we don't want that. To close it, we can just select close the corner option. All of these corner options are under the same button here on the sheet metal toolbar. We can just click on it, click on the drop down, and let's choose closed corner. Here on the left, we've got some options. The first one is to choose which face we want to extend. So let's zoom in, and we could select either one of these small faces. We could choose this one or this one, and it'll give us the same result, but basically to switch around. So let's try choosing this one. And we see we get a preview of what's gonna happen with this closed corner. So if we zoomed in, we've extended this edge slightly, and we've also extended this one to come up to it. So here on the left in the faces to match box, the corresponding face has automatically been selected by the tool. So this option is just gonna close up that corner. If I press OK, we can see that corner gap is now much smaller. And if we flatten the part, we can see this edge flange now actually extends a little bit beyond the bend line there. If we edit closed corner again, there is a few options on the left. Here we can change the corner type. So this is how the corner is joined. The first one is spot, where the two corners meet like this. Or there's overlap, where one side overlaps the other. Or there's underlap, which is basically the opposite. So one side overlaps, the other side underlaps. We can also change the cap distance here. We can see that increases the distance there. Then this option is the overlap underlap ratio. Now because this is a ratio, it always has to be between 0 and 1. And this is controls exactly how the underlap or overlap fit together. So if we put one here, we are gonna overlap with a full thickness of the sheet. If I put half 0.5, then we are only gonna overlap with half of the sheet. The open bend region is an option down here that just determines how we're gonna cut away this bend region at the bottom. So this is with the option selected. We've trimmed away the corner section down there, and this will help with the bending. If we go to the opposite, so if we turn off this option, then the corner will instead look like this. So we've got no corner relief there. Then let's edit the feature again, and we'll just have a quick look at the other options. Go planar faces. This is best explained with another quick example. So I'm just going to add the corner. And I'm gonna drag out above the corner, so it's switched off. And then I'm gonna cut away a little section on this flange here. Just gonna make a simple cut and only go through the thickness of that first flange. Now if we track back down again, so we've got the closed corner in the model again, and we added that feature. So if we turn off the go planar face option, then we only actually have the faces that are selected in the box. If we turn it back on, it will automatically pick up that top section as well because it's go planar with the bottom. So it means it's lined up with the face at the bottom. So these two final options. Narrow basically just reduces the gap in the pan area. This depends on our exact geometry. Sometimes it can be hard really to see any difference there. And then auto propagation. Basically just automatically selects the faces to match up based on our first selection. So this is really useful little tool. Good for filling in our corners. 
This tool can be especially helpful if you've got something like this. So I'm gonna add an extra flange. I'm gonna make the angle so it's not 90 degrees. So it's actually angled slightly away from this other flange. So we see we've got an increasing gap there as the flange goes up. If we use the closed corner and select this face, then we can automatically close off most of that gap. So to very quickly recap, close the corner as the name suggests allows us to close up corners. All we have to do is select the tool and select the faces. And there's many different options within the tool. Up next, we'll have a look at welded corners. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.